Hello guys, welcome to Mr. Legend Crypto. Guys, in this video, we'll be taking a look at an altcoin, the graph. The graph is down bad already. In the last one week, it has lost 9.5% of its value. But good news is that in the last one month, the graph is still up 70%. Guys, what's happening to the graph right now? We have hit a major bear market resistance level. We're seeing the graph having difficulties pump above the $0.17 region. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the graph US dollar price chart on a three-day time frame. We'll also be taking a look at the graph's performance against both Bitcoin and Ethereum. And we'll also take a look at the graph's market cap, currently above $1.3 billion. If we start dumping to Goblin Town, where are we going to find support deep in the crypto bear market? We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first, guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. And investment in knowledge pays the best interest. So all my returning subscribers, thank you for always watching all my videos. I appreciate you guys. If you're new to this channel and you want to get the latest crypto news, price predictions, chart analysis, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Let's get down to business. One, two, three, four, five. Guys, it looks as if we're coming to the end of the relief rally. The graph is going down badly. In the last one week, we've seen it down by 9.4%. In the yearly time frame, the graph is still down bad because we're still deep in a crypto bear market. The graph was one of the huge gainers in this bear market rally, pumping from as low as $0.055, getting to as high as $0.22, going up by around 300%. The graph is going through its first crypto bear market. The graph got to an all-time high of $2.7 in February of 2021. Since then, the graph has been dumping to Goblin Town, getting to as low as $0.052, losing around 98% of its value. That's what all coins do in the bear market. We see a lot of all coins dumping to Goblin Town. But why we like all coins is that by the end of the next bull run, they can recover all the losses they made in the bear market and even go to set new all-time highs. Right now in the bear market, we're having a rally, but we've seen the graph hit major bear market resistance around the $0.17 region. The last time we saw the graph consolidating around this region was in May of 2022. And after that consolidation, we saw the graph losing another 69% of its value. Guys, if the graph gets rejected at this level, where are we going to find support as we start dumping to Goblin Town? The graph finds support around the $0.09 level. It's very, very possible for us to find support there. The graph will come down, bounce at the $0.091 level and continue pumping to higher prices. Or we might go back to the previous lows around the $0.005 level. That was a new all-time low for the graph. And that happened in the last month of 2022. Guys, with all coins, they can be very, very volatile. With all coins, it's easy for them to continue dumping to Goblin Town. And worst case scenario, we'll see the graph even setting new lows in this bear market. Remember, guys, in the bear market is where you want to be accumulating, getting ready for the next bull run. Deep in the bear market is where smart investors are quietly accumulating all coins, getting ready for all season. That might happen at the end of the next crypto bull run. But if the relief rally is not over for the graph, if the graph's bear market rally continues to the upside and we consolidate around the $0.17 level, the next level where the graph might pump towards will be that $0.33 level. And guys, we still have some major, major resistance waiting for us around that level. The last time we saw the graph trading around the $0.33 level was in April of 2022. And since then, we have seen the graph lose more than 84% of its value. From where we are currently trading right now, for the graph to get to new all-time highs, which I don't think will happen in 2023, the graph will have to go up by 1,500%. Guys, in the bear market, as you accumulate, please don't get carried away. Remember that we can always dump to Goblin Town. The best method to accumulate deep in this crypto bear market is by dollar cost averaging so that in case we see those lower prices, in case we see those opportunities of a lifetime, you will still have some capital on the side. A paraventure will continue pumping to higher prices. At least you will have bought some the graph around the $0.17 region. You will have gotten some skin in the game. If the graphs get to the $0.33 region, a lot of questions will be answered. If we continue pumping to higher prices, we might see the graph get to as high as $0.5 before the end of the relief rally. But if the graph cannot reclaim this $0.17 region, then we have just started our slow grind down to Goblin Town. If we take a look at what the graph is doing on the monthly time frame, we still have some of the gains we have made in this bear market rally. So if you want to take some profits off the table, it would be smart to do that before we start our huge dump to Goblin Town. Guys, the graph is still up around 192% from when we started the year. 
if you take a look at what the graph is doing on the yearly time frame we're still down in the bear market we're still down in goblin town in the last one month we've seen the graph go from as low as 0.083 dollars to as high as 0.22 dollars with a market cap of 1.3 billion dollars and a fully dieted market cap of 1.69 billion dollars the graph has a total supply of 10.5 billion tokens a circulating supply of 8.8 .8 billion tokens, the graph is ranked 40 on CoinMarketCap with over 419,000 people having the graph on their watch list. If you want to buy or sell some of the graph tokens in the bear market as we're getting ready for the next crypto bull run, you can do that on Binance, on Coinbase Exchange, on Qcoin, on BitTop, on Kraken, on Bitstamp, on Bitfinex, and guys, anywhere you get your popular altcoins, you can get some of the graph tokens right there. The graph is an indexing protocol for querying data for networks like Ethereum and IPFS, powering many applications in both DeFi and the broader Web3 ecosystem. If you take a look at the graph's performance against Bitcoin and Ethereum in this bear market rally, we saw the graph outperforming both Bitcoin and Ethereum, but it looks as if that rally is coming to an end. It looks as if the graph is gearing up for final dump to the downside against both Bitcoin and Ethereum. And guys, let's not get carried away. Remember, in the bear market, all coins can be very very risky in the bear market all coins are volatile to the downside and we might just see the graph set new lows against both bitcoin and ethereum in this bear market a lot of market participants are still scared a lot of people are still having ptsd from the dumps we had in 2022 so any shift in sentiment you see people flipping their the graph for bitcoin and ethereum in the bear market a lot of market participants favor bitcoin and ethereum because when people are scared they run towards safety and safety for us in the cryptocurrency market is bitcoin and is ethereum if you take a look at the graph's market cap which rallied heavily above one billion dollars the graph was stuck below one billion dollars since august of 2022 the market cap couldn't pass that one billion dollar region but in this relief rally we have seen the graph's market cap even get to as high as 1.98 billion dollars just shy of that $2 billion region, the graph got rejected heavily at that $1.98 billion region. Right now, the graph's market cap is around $1.39 billion. If we see the graph's market cap dropping towards a billion dollars, hopefully we we'll find support there. I find support there, we might continue pumping. Maybe just maybe test $2.5 billion for the first time since the 1st of April of 2022. If we can't get that high in this relief rally and the rally is over, the graph might find support at the $1 billion level. If we don't find support there, we'll be heading towards the $658 million level. And guys, if we don't find support there, the graph might be going to the lows we set in this bear market. That's around the $378 million region. And worst case scenario, we see the graph setting new lows in this bear market. Remember, guys, that's always possible. All coins can be very, very risky in a bear market. The graph has gone from an all-time high of $6.1 billion in the top of the bull run, dropping to as low as $374 million in the bear market. That's a 93% dump in the market cap of the graph. Hopefully, we'll see it breaking new all-time highs at the end of the next bull run. But for you to enjoy those pumps in the future, you have to accumulate right now deep in the crypto bear market. So guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. Tell me, do you think we've gotten to the end of the bear market rally for the graph? Do you think the graph can still pump one final time to that $0.33 level? Or are we going to start dumping to Goblin Town very, very quickly? Are you still accumulating more of the graph in your altcoin portfolio, getting ready for the next bull run? Drop your thoughts about that in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification to get notified anytime I drop a new video. Remember guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. And investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Invest for the long haul. Don't get too greedy. Don't get too scared. See you guys in my next video.